Hey everyone, it's Neil Patel and welcome to another day of Local SEO Unlocked. This is our last lesson where I give a summary over everything. If you miss any of the previous lessons, you can find them all at neilpatel.com slash training and click on Local SEO Unlocked. Before we dive into this lesson, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way you'll get notified as I release more courses like this. So let's dive right in. According to Think With Google, they say that local searches with qualifier near me, like pizza near me, have grown 150% faster than any other local search queries. That's the power of these near me terms. And there's been a 500% increase in near me mobile searches and a 900% increase in near me today slash tonight searches in which people are looking for places that are close to them that are available today or tonight or that are open. In short, local SEO is critical if you want your brick and mortar business to stay relevant in the next five, 10, or even 20 years. And Google is growing extremely fast. Local search has exploded and 75% of searchers start their searches on Google. At any given day, people conduct more than 2.2 billion searches. And that's just on Google. Just think about that, 2.2 billion searches. There's roughly 7 billion people in this world. That's a huge chunk of searches. Now granted, some people are searching multiple times, but still it's a massive market out there. And search engine optimization is one of the, not only most efficient, but it's also one of the most affordable marketing strategies out there. I started my career picking up trash at a theme park and I turned to SEO because it allowed me to compete with the big guys when I didn't have much money. You know, you don't get paid that much picking up trash. And local SEO is here to stay. It's been around for a long time. Um, local search is so powerful for small businesses that four out of five customers use search to find local information. Hence, you need to leverage it because it'll allow your business to grow faster. And there's a lot of hacks that you can leverage out there. And one of them that I want to share with you is, of course, you verify your business once you submit it to Google My Business. But there's also a Google guarantee. Search for Google guarantee. And if you go through that process and you apply for it with your local business, even though it takes a little bit of time, you'll find that if you do the Google guarantee, you'll end up getting way more local search traffic. Simple hack that you have to check out and use if you want more traffic. And local SEO is also a little bit different than normal SEO. It doesn't take as long. Um, there's not as much traffic, but the traffic you do get can convert extremely well as long as you're going after the right intent, the right keywords, and you're offering what people are looking for. You can do a lot to optimize for this. And of course, one thing that's super important with local SEO that's not as important with national SEO is your reviews. You wanna make sure that you have really good reviews and it's extremely important for local, much more than national, because reviews will dictate and determine how well you show up in those map listings, how much local business you're gonna get. Because if you don't have a four and a half star or higher, it's really tough to do as great from local SEO uh, compared to the people who do, because if you don't, someone else is gonna offer better service, better products, and they're gonna get those ratings to help them climb to the top. As we're discussing reviews, Please, 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 at no matter no cost, pay for reviews or do astroturfing. If you avoid this by doing kickbacks or anything that's dodgy to get reviews, it's going to create the wrong kind of environment and that's short sighted. It's not going to help you succeed in the long run. Some advantages of local SEO it helps you attract customers for little to no expense. It improves your online profile, you generate more leads and sales, and you grow a cool local following and you build a community around you and you're helping people within your community as well. So what does it take to start your website's local SEO? Well, first off, you need to optimize your website, which we covered over the previous lessons. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. Uh, specifically, go over the last lesson where we discuss on-page and off-page SEO. And then the next thing you need to do is expand to many platforms. It's not just about Google and Bing. There's also TripAdvisor, Yelp, uh, Facebook. You can create that local page. And don't forget any popular local review sites or as well as any popular local bloggers that may be open to discussing your business because it can drive sales. And a great way to figure out what's working in your space is you can use Ubersuggest. You can search on Ubersuggest. You're typing in... Uh, you know, a state that you're in or a country. But what you may not know is next to the keyword bar in Ubersuggest, you can actually 
type in a city. So you can look up all the keywords that are popular based on your city. So instead of English United States that you can see on the screenshot, you would change it to New York, New York or whatever city you're in. So you can see buyer intent keywords and that'll help you find these keywords. So that way you can create that local content because that's essential with your local rankings. You need to have that content that doesn't just discuss the keywords, but also discusses anything that's within your local city that helps people get a better understanding of the solutions, the services you offer, and how you can help them out. Of course, we talked about reviews many times, and the reason I keep bringing it up, because it's important. Research shows that 81% of people read reviews and check ratings, and more than one in three customers comment on blogs or contribute to online forums. So you wanna be there, and anytime you get bad reviews, don't just hate on the bad reviews. Try to take that feedback to heart and improve your product, your service, your offering, so that way you can get more positive reviews in the future. And that should also help you build citations. Citations are super important because with your local efforts, these are all signals that can help you rank towards the top. Citations is when people mention your name or your phone number, your website. There's not necessarily a link, they're just mentioning you. And that's good because not every time someone mentions you, they're gonna link out to you. So summary, if you wanna get the most out of this course, review it multiple times over the next year. Use all the modules as your mode roadmap, especially when you're getting stuck, and work with the lessons and the worksheets, and just put in one hour a day if you have, and if you don't, put in a few hours a week, and you'll be off into the races. You're amazing for taking the time to learn local SEO, so I wanna thank you. And now it's time for you to put everything that you've learned into action. If you miss any of the previous lessons, you can find them at neilpatel.com slash training and click on local SEO unlocked, or you can look at any of my other free training courses out there as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it. And if you just want us to do your local SEO for you, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital.